This local sports report is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wilmot Wild. Check out the Fence and Deck Experts for professional work and quality service. They make your backyard an extension of your living space, installing custom decks with pressure-treated or composite wood with a glass railing. They also offer a variety of fence options, from wood to vinyl to chain link. Call now to get a quote at 519-804-3325. That's 519-804-DECK. The Wilmot Wild back on the floor Sunday looking for their third straight win at the Wilmot Rec Complex. The Wild facing the Halton Hills Bulldogs for the second time this season. Opening period, the Wild strike first on this bullet from Eric Snyder. That's a power play marker to open the scoring. 1-0 Wilmot. A few minutes later, Everett Herter starting in his own zone. Herter comes in, winds up, and he's got a goal. Nice play there from the Wild defender. He makes it 2 nothing but the Bulldogs respond with back-to-back -back goals Michael Holmes dishing off he goes to the net and he ties the game the Bulldogs captain coming through we are not at a two still in the first Colmain passes off he creates space for Eric Chilton who puts the wild back on top Chilton makes it three to Wilmot after the opening period second frame now EJ Kelleher is on the far side he fires Dawson block is there and he buries the rebound he puts Wilmot Wilmot up by a pair. It's 4-2. Then it's Colmain with possession. He sends it over to Chase Forsythe and his shot just trickling across the goal line. Wilmot with a three goal advantage. A few minutes later, Clay O'Keefe for Wilmot and Rory Campbell for the Bulldogs getting into it. We've got ourselves a scrap. Both players with their helmets off landing some shots. O'Keefe with a headlock as the officials step in. Both players done for the day. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder. This video is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wilmot Wild. Get a quote by calling 519-804-3325. Still in the second, this is Eric Chilton to Cole Main. He's got space in front, and he puts it in. He gives Wilmot a 6-3 advantage. Back the other way. This is Elijah McDonald with a breakaway for the Bulldogs. McDonald runs in and scores. Halton Hills is closing the gap, and they get another one on this play. Hunter McNair fighting off two defenders, and he scores. We've got ourselves a one-goal game. Halton is now trailing 6-5. Later in the period, Eric Chilton with another assist. This time he sets up Dawson Block. That's his second goal of the day, and it's a shorty. 8-5 Wilmot, and they strike again before the period is over. This time it's Chilton getting the goal. He had a terrific game for the Wild. It's 9-5 after two periods. Let's move to the third, and it's another missile from Eric Snyder. This kid can rip it. He extends the lead. 10-5 Wilmot. The Bulldogs, though, not going down quietly. Matthew Mowat running the floor. He finds Zach Marshall, who puts it in. Halton is back within three. Later, how about Joel Snyder? He leaps and steals it. Snyder all by himself, and he scores. What a big goal that is. 11-7 seven for the Wild. And a little later, it's Colmain taking it behind the net. He feeds Travis Rebot in front, and he's got a shorty. Rebot scoring the final goal of the day for Wilmot, and they record the victory. The Wild knocking off the Bulldogs. 12-9 is the final on Sunday afternoon. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.